I'm gonna respond to AJ Plus about Antifa. Need I say more? I love how this video frames Antifa as an anti-Nazi organization when in reality they attack anybody who is not part of their group. To prove that claim, I'm gonna read off a very, very long list of their activities that is not Nazi base. January the 20th, 2017, Antifa interrupted the inauguration for President Trump. February the 1st, 2017, Berkeley hosted an event with Miley Yiannopoulos and Antifa let the campus on fire. March the 4th, 2017, Antifa attacked attendees at the March for Trump rally in Berkeley, California. April the 15th, 2017, Antifa attacked attendees at the Free Speech Rally in Berkeley, California. June the 4th, 2017, Antifa attack attendees at another free speech rally in Portland, Oregon. August the 19th, 2017, a guy got stabbed in the head for looking like a neo-Nazi. August the 24th, 2017, a white Antifa member attack a black Trump supporter. As you guys can clearly see, this group does not just target Nazis, they target anybody who get in their way. Outside of Richard Spencer and that event that happened in Charlottesville, nobody else who were targets were Nazis or far rights. Let's look at that list, shall we? They oppose against racism, sexism, homophobia, white supremacy, and Nazis. Can someone Please tell me just how in the world do free speech events promote sexism, racism, Nazism, etc. But Tyler, allowing people to say hateful things is the exact same thing as defending them. To which I say, I'm sorry, but allowing people to speak their mind is not the exact same thing as endorsing the speech. Also, whether you like Miley Yiannopoulos or not, he does not promote Nazism or racism or sexism or whatever isms. If anything, just like me, he's like a provocateur of controversial opinions. Also, the inauguration is basically a day where people celebrate a guy becoming a president. How in the world does that justify breaking windows and smashing stuff? Like I said earlier, most of the events that Antifa go to and destroy shit, they're not part of the far right. Most of these groups that they attack are free speech rallies. Antifa attacks anybody, and I do mean anybody, who is not as left as they are. There was a guy back in the 1960s who taught the idea of nonviolence. I'm pretty sure that that same guy will appreciate the actions of Antifa and their methods. If you disagree with people, you cannot just attack them for a different opinion. Unless a person personally attack you with his fist, then it's perfectly fine to use self-defense in that instance. If you continue to punch people for different viewpoints, the situation will be escalated to no end. <laughs> Mostly non-violent. Uh, sure, if you say so, but uh, that'll be wrong. If they destroy property by your own definition, that makes them violent. Do you guys not understand this? The situation in the United States is definitely comparable to Nazi Germany. I mean, after all, Donald Trump, he wants concentration camps, he has a Mein Kampf, he has all the stuff that hence that he's a fascist. 
I honestly am not sure which is more cancerous, the people that defend Antifa or the people that actually are Antifa. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.